Hello everybody, it's Drew Detzner from Langlois Vital Nutrition Center here with you. Thank you for watching this video. This video is about a protocol I developed. Uh, it's been a little over a year and people have raved about it when they've tried it and I decided I should share it with the whole world, not just people who come into the office. This is the anti-bloat protocol or the, the bloat stop protocol. Moral of the story is it stops bloating. So the holidays are approaching at the time of filming this video. So it's appropriate to give people ideas on how to deal with bloating because we're going to eat those large meals. We're going to have those desserts. We're probably going to eat a greater volume in one sitting than we're used to. So in this video, we're going to go over where bloating happens, why it happens, and what we can do about it. Let's get into it. So first of all, we're talking about where some people experience bloating in their upper abdomen, so we're talking by the rib cage. That's usually, but not always related to the stomach, the organ, not the stomach, but the organ, having difficulty breaking down proteins. More on that in a minute. Sometimes it happens near your belly button. Now typically when we have bloating around our belly button, it's because our intestines are having trouble breaking down carbohydrates. More on that in a minute also. Sometimes we get the lower digestive tract. But also, I have clients come in and say that their bloating hits them in their back. And maybe you've never experienced that, or maybe you're saying, at last, somebody else is saying this. I just thought I was crazy. Okay. Typically, when we see bloating in the lower GI or the back, it is because the liver and the gallbladder didn't break down fats the right way. Now, with all those areas, it's not always at the upper stomach or under the rib cage, excuse me. It's because of the stomach and because of protein. It's not always lower GI. It's because of fat and the liver. But very often, that's the case. So why does this happen? This happens because our body has trouble breaking down our macronutrients. So the body has trouble breaking down either carbs, proteins, or fats. So if the body doesn't break down those foods and it starts to irritate the body. So if the carbohydrates or the proteins or the fats got fully digested the way they're supposed to, they will very easily move through your abdomen, even in great volumes, and then pass through you. But if your body can't fully break them down, either because there's too many of them or because a lack of potency, then we're going to get bloating. So what are we going to do about it? We're going to support the functioning of your liver, your stomach, and your intestines. Now let's talk about what supplements we're going to use to do this. We're going to start with the liver. So in the bloat stop protocol, the most important thing you can take for your liver to help you digest fats is a supplement by standard process called beta food. Typically people need between three and six of those in a day. I know before I sit down to Thanksgiving, I take three of them. As soon as I'm done eating dinner at Thanksgiving, I take three more. I don't ever bloat after a Thanksgiving meal, and I am responsible for a large portion of the turkey population of Earth disappearing. Next thing, the stomach. In the stomach, the most important supplement to support your stomach functioning is going to be Zypan, also by standard process. Now this one's a little bit trickier, just because some people are a little bit sensitive to Zypan. So you may take as little as three or as many as 15, and I know that sounds crazy, but some people really do not have potent stomach acid, and is the cause for a lot of their woes. Heartburn, chest pain, bloating, constipation, all sorts of things. So with Zypan, you might only need a little, or you might really do well taking a lot. And last but not least, to help the intestines function, and especially to help us digest those carbohydrates, we're gonna use a supplement that's called Lactic acid yeast. This is also made by standard process. 
somewhere between two and four of them in a given day. It's a very effective dose. I want to talk about this one for just a second here. It's a really special supplement as far as I'm concerned because it has a type of good bacteria, a probiotic, that allows your body, or excuse me, supports your body in digesting any type of carbohydrate, whether it's fruit or grain or vegetable, whatever type of carbohydrate, what's in lactic acid yeast, supports your body's breakdown of those carbohydrates. So if we're looking to stop bloating, wherever we feel it, up under our rib cage, around our belly button, even in our back, we're going to make sure that we're doing things to support our body's digestion of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. The way we do that, we support the liver by taking beta food, we support the stomach by taking Zypan, and we support the intestines by taking lactic acid yeast. Some of you are already wondering this, so I'll just go ahead and answer it now. Yes, you can take this beyond the holidays. Yes, you can take it long term. It's totally safe. There's none of that side effect business because these are all whole food supplements. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps you. If you have questions about this or if you want to hear about other things, other symptoms you deal with, let us know. We probably have some way to support your body in dealing with those things. There's going to be more videos coming your way soon. Have a great day.